Hi students, today I am going to teach you a very important topic known as feminist literary criticism. Feminist literary criticism, see here I have written this thing. What is feminist literary criticism, which is an integral part for the students of MA English as well as the students who are preparing for UGC NET exam or any exam. Feminist literary criticism began to counter, it began to resist and eventually eliminate the traditions and the conventions of patriarchy, the ideology or belief system that sees the dominance and the superiority of men over women. And they see the superiority of men and women as natural in both private and public context. Feminist criticism is a specific kind of political discourse and it is a critical and theoretical practice committed to the struggle against, against the patriarchy sexism. And what is the feminist movement? It is based, if I, if I, if I tell you that these are based on various discussions, one can approximately place the feminist movement into four basic categories. I'll explain you these four basic categories jiske upar ye feminist movement depend karta hai. Pahli jo category hai students wo hai Burgoy's feminism of Virginia Woolf. And what is this? Virginia Woolf asserts that women have not been able to write because of the prevalent social conditions that acted as a barrier between them and writing. Itta to aap samajh gaye honge कि वजीना वुल्फ ने और ये नेचुरल भी है और ये हम अपने समाज में भी देखते हैं कि हमारे यहां की जो विमेन हैं फ्रॉम द टाइम्स मेमोरियल दे आर नॉट एबल टू राइट एंड डू व्हाट दे एक्चुअली फील क्योंकि वही हालत है पेट्रियार्कल सुपर दैट इज द बैरियर्स क्योंकि उनको सोशल कंडीशन जो है वो बैरियर दे देता है उनके बीच में और उनकी राइटिंग के बीच में एंड because of that, their financial dependence on man and the absence of the independent financial stability prevents women from writing. And she believes, she means Virginia Woolf, believes that if women are given the financial sources and freedom available hai, which is available to men, they will be even more productive. And see in the today's scenario, कि हमारे यहां महिलाएं और विमेन कहां से कहां पहुंच गई हैं दे आर एज प्रोडक्टिव एज मेन द सेकेंड पॉइंट सोशल फेमिनिज्म एज एडवोकेटेड बाय सिमोन डी बिव्योर सिमोन डी बिव्योर बिलीव्स दैट सोशल इक्वालिटी बिटवीन द सेक्सेस मैन एंड विमेन वुड रिजल्ट इन द एम्पावरिंग ऑफ विमेन एंड एनेबल्स देम टू प्रोड्यूस लिटरेचर ऑफ देर ओन अगर हम महिलाओं को उनका uh, unka, unki izzat, unko paisa, unko, unko power, unko sab kuch hum equality mein denge. Nishit roop se unke andar bhi wo feeling aa sakti hai. They, they can be uh, lady of letters as men have been. And as a social feminist, Simon D. Bivior attacks the traditional stereotyping of women in male narratives. The third point, French feminism. What is this? This French feminism includes a group of feminists who believe that women's writing should be radical in its nature and they should reinvent language and writing so they can depart drastically from the present masculine mode of expression and they entrenched behind a Lacanian scholarship by Jacques Lacan. And the last point is American feminism. What is American feminism? This movement includes another group of mainly women intellectuals. This movement is another group ko ke taraf ingit karta hai, jo khas taur se women intellectuals ka hai. And these women intellectuals suspect the French feminist movement. And they, instead of reinventing the language, advocate a literary reading advocate a literary reading of textology against the grain of traditional male narratives 
and against the canon and the high culture so this is this these are the four points which are there in the feminist movement and i'm sure a lot of things must be very clear now now the feminist literary theory i'll explain you this point the what is feminist literary theory and i will give you an overview students feminist literary criticism is the direct product of the women's movement of 1960s and with the publication of kate millet's k e t e m i l l e t apostrophe s with the publication of kate millet's sexual politics which came in 1969 feminist criticism became a challenge to the traditional norms of the english studies in the 1970s millet initiated the first modern principles of feminist criticism by embarking upon a critique of sexist assumptions in the male authored texts and introducing some of the fundamental terms such as patriarchal and this word patriarchal gained considerable significance in the feminist literary studies by politics kate millet ka jo manna hai ya kehna hai by by politics the word politics kate millet means the operations of power relations in society she argues that western institutions have manipulated power to establish the dominance of men and the subordination of women in society in fact millet millet se pehle agar hum sach mein dekhe तो मिलेट के पहले द नेगेटिव इमेजेस ऑफ वुमेन बोथ इन सोसाइटी एंड इन लिटरेचर हैड प्रोड्यूस्ड इक्वली प्रोवोकेटिव एंड मोर कॉशियस रिस्पॉन्सिस सच एज देर इज अ वर्क नोन एज थिंकिंग अबाउट वुमेन यू विल फाइंड दिस फीलिंग इन मैरी एलमैंस थिंकिंग अबाउट वुमेन नाइनटीन फेमिनिस्ट क्रिटिसिजम ऑफ द नाइनटीन और इन दाइनटीन सेवेंटीज एक्सपोज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ पेट्रियार that is the cultural mindset in men and women which perpetuated the sexual inequality ek naam hai ellen show walter ellen show walter ne describe kiya hai the change in the late 1970s as shift of attention from the andro texts andro texts ka matlab hota hai books written by men to gyno texts what is gyno texts books written by women and she also introduced the new term gyno critics meaning the study of those books written by women hence the feminist literary criticism has become an urgent political necessity helen sicus h e l e n e helen sicus c i x o u s for example he has challenged the binary opposition of man and women in the value system now in the next we will study the critical studies of women writers and under this heading i am trying to present you a, a a brief description about it that the major critical studies of women writers from the viewpoint of the female tradition constitutes the first serious feminist criticism and Virginia Woolf's A Room of One's Own which came in 1929 became an important precursor of feminist literary criticism she argued in this work that the male dominated ideas of the patriarchal society prevented women from realizing their creativity and the true potential they had according to Virginia Woolf women writers had to work against the grain in order to write yet writing was the only way left to women to work to assert individuality and autonomy and excluded from many social political and economic activities women turned to writing but it was not so easy in her essay professions for women this is a essay written by virginia wolf is essay mein unhone likha hai professions for women in one state kiya hai means virginia wolf mein that she had to kill the angel in the house in order to write the novels and crucial works in the same way ellen show walters a literature of their own a 1977 example is also a typical example under this heading 
and in her analysis of the historical development ellen show walter presents three important stages of women's writing first the imitation of the mainstream literary tradition second the protest against the standard of this dominant tradition concerning the social values and rights and the third is the self discovery which aims at a search for identity ellen show walter identifies these stages in teen stage ko wo identify karti hain as feminine feminist and female the feminine period covers the years years between 1840 se lekar ke 1889 the feminist period starts from 1890 goes up to 1920 and the female period starts from 1920 and comes up to 1960 sandra gilbert again repeating the name sandra gilbert and susan gobers the mad woman in the attic is another critical book on the major female writers of the 19th century which presents the nature of the distinctively female tradition of the 19th century so students i am sure with this brief description you have understood properly and you can write it now you can speak now you can answer any question on the feminist literary criticism now coming to the fourth world literature which is also a very important term to understand for the students of literature that the fourth world literature refers to the written work of the native people living in the land that has been taken over by the non natives and fourth world this word fourth world is a term that came into use by the formation of the world council of indigenous people in the 1972 fourth world people are the original indigenous inhabitants those who existed before the europeans or other colonizers maybe they invaded they occupied they conquered or settled their homelands native people of america aboriginals of australia maoris of new zealand first nations of canada dalits tribes of india are considered as people of the fourth world george manuel he was the most significant powerful and revered indigenous leader of canada who advocated the political unification of indigenous people across the globe by the formation of the fourth world movement and he being the president of the world council of indigenous people traveled sweden traveled nicaragua chile guatemala and after traveling these places he realized that indigenous people have much in common and in the face of adversity unity becomes the most important factor unity ke bina kuch nahi hai and manuel wanted to depict a history of shared experiences among the indigenous communities of the world who are struggling for self determination and identity the fourth world became the most dramatic history of transculturation ever ever witnessed and the evolution of the fourth world literature is in reflection with the socio economic literary and the cultural circumstances that has affected the lives of the natives the interna internalization of the social prejudices and the value systems in society have affected the progress of the marginalized sections and the fourth world literature offers a ray of hope for these exploited sections इनको जो एक्सप्लॉयट किया गया है उनके लिए फोर्थ वर्ल्ड लिटरेचर्स एक आशा की किरण है द दलित द नेटिव्स, द एबोरिजिनल्स दे आर ग्रोइंग अप विद द फीलिंग दैट दे आर सुपीरियर टू अदर्स नाउ दो फ्रॉम द अपर क्लास आर कॉन्स्टेंटली फेड दैट दे आर सुपीरियर टू अदर द बैकवर्ड क्लासेस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दीज प्रेजिस एंड वैल्यू सिस्टम्स दे हैव प्रिवेंटेड द दलित फ्रॉम रियलाइजिंग their aspirations so students i hope you would have loved to listen this two points which are important and i have 
given a very brief description so that you may be able to know actually what is uh, feminist literary criticism and fourth world literature. I'll keep on constantly giving you uh, small, small pieces of literature through my channel. And if you like it, listen it properly, subscribe the channel.